Stephen Curry used his signature slide, stepping back in AD's face to beat the Lakers, dropping his eighth 25-plus point game of the year. Zach Levine's taken the jump from all-star to superstar and has become the NBA's fifth leading scorer. These are the top 10 NBA players on fire this season. If you're subscribed, welcome back to D-Flow Hoops. If you're new here and a basketball fan, you came to the right place. Please subscribe and hit notifications so you're notified every time I post content. Let's get into this. Number 10, Malcolm Brogdon. Two years ago when he was backing up Eric Bledsoe in Milwaukee, Malcolm joined seven other NBA legends in the 50-40-90 club, but after Indiana gave him a four-year $85 million contract in 2019, Brogdon would put up a career low by far 32.6% from three-point range last season. However, this year, the former second round pick has significantly improved his efficiency and led the Pacers to a fantastic 8-5 start. The 28-year-old's averaging career highs nearly across the board. He's putting up 22.2 points on elite shooting splits, as well as 7.2 assists, 4.3 rebounds, and 1.8 steals in 36.6 minutes per game. Number 9, Jeremy Grant. The Detroit Pistons are just 3-10. But the one bright spot in an otherwise brutal season so far has been their 2020 free agent signing Jeremy Grant, who they signed to a three-year, $60 million deal in the 2020 offseason. And he's been nothing short of incredible in his 13 games with the Pistons. This season, Grant is averaging 25 points, six rebounds, and three assists, and shooting a career-best 39% clip from three-point range. He was just a role player for the Nuggets last year, but played very well in the postseason for them. Now he's getting all the shots he wants as the number one option for Detroit and has been one of the league's top breakout players in 2021. Number eight, Julius Randle. Speaking of breakout players, New York's power forward is putting up near triple-double averages and bringing the Knicks back to respectability. We already knew that the New York Knicks big man Julius Randle could score and rebound, but few saw him taking a leap to become a point forward and become this dominant. Some of the most exciting moments of the year for the New York Knicks have featured Randle dancing around with dazzling post moves, showing off spins leading into beautiful passes, and showing off a nice stroke from three-point range. He became just the fifth player in the last 40 years to average more than seven dimes and 10 boards the first six games of a season, the other four players are all Hall of Famers. Number seven, Stephen Curry. This ranking's based off how red hot each player's been. Obviously, Stephen Curry's the best player on this list, but last night he was struggling with his shot through the first three quarters. But Draymond Green and Eric Pascal stepped up big time to keep the Warriors in it, and the chef hit big time shots in the clutch. The Curry Green pick and roll has proved to be unstoppable, and that remains true even without Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson spacing the floor for them. The logic is simple there are only so many ways you can defend a pick and roll. Double Curry off of the screen, and Green gets a four on three. He'll either make the right pass out of it or score an easy layup as he did here. In the final three minutes and 40 seconds, the combination of Green and Curry dominated the first seeded Lakers, which included the chef using his signature Curry slide on Anthony Davis to knock down the game ceiling dagger. Steffens looked like the 2015-16 MVP version of himself in 2021, as we're only 13 games in, and Curry's already had four games of dropping at least 35 points or more. That, of course, included his iconic 62-point game. Number six, Christian Wood. Despite the beard leaving him in the dust, Seawood's posted impressive numbers in every game he's worn a Rockets uniform. Houston signed him to a three-year, $41 million deal in 2020, and that contract has proved itself as the steal of this past offseason. He jokingly called Shaq a casual recently for not knowing who he was on TNT, and while it's pretty bold for a 25-year-old player to call out the diesel like that, that just goes to show you the special mentality of Christian Wood. After he went undrafted and faced an inspirational journey to get to this point, become Houston's best player, his Mamba mentality, as he describes it, has led him to the success that he's had this year. Woods averaging 24 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 blocks on 54% shooting from the field. He's definitely the most improved player of the year, and he's putting up some all-star-like numbers. Number 5, Paul George. 
PG-13's been extremely open in addressing his 2020 playoff struggles and says he's coming back with vengeance. On January 16th, George said, quote, I didn't like not so much of the noise and everything around the season ending, but just the fact that people saw weakness and I had to address that, I had to answer to that, that fueled me. After the tough year last year was the only way I could respond. Almost two years removed from having my shoulders operated on, I am just in a happier, healthier mind state. End quote. And George is right about that because the Clippers being 10 and 4 and looking like title contenders so far has a lot to do with his production this year. He's averaging a career high by far in both three point and field goal percentage, and that efficiency next to Kawhi Leonard could be a lethal combination for any team in the league come the playoffs. Number four, Zach Levine. Last night, Levine continued his recent mastery with 33 points on 11 for 16 shooting with 7 assists. When the Rockets made a run, Levine asserted himself offensively, scoring 14 third quarter points. Then in closing time, like a true superstar would, Levine hit big time shots to seal the win for Chicago. Levine now has 7 30 point games this season, trailing only Damian Lillard's 8 and has officially evolved into one of the best superstars in the NBA. Despite facing trade rumors, unlike other superstars, Levine's been a great leader for the Bulls this year as they're a solid 6-8, and eight, and Zach Levine's 27-5 and five averages, which he makes look easy, are a massive part of that. He's a top go-to scoring option in basketball, and Chicago's lucky to have him. Number 3, Jalen Brown. The Boston Celtics' fifth-year wing is done making steady progression as he's soaring to new heights that people never thought he could reach. After Jalen erupted for a career-best 42 points through three quarters against the Grizzlies, Kendrick Perkins of ESPN, and a former NBA player of course, proclaimed him as the Celtics' best player. That, that is blasphemous! Of course, this is coming when his teammate Jason Tatum was a third-team All-NBA player last season and one of the league's 15 best players, so it's bold to suggest Brown is better than his young counterpart. The Duke product, Jason, also has more offensive upside than Brown and has scored more points in four seasons than Brown has in five. That didn't stop Perkins from saying, quote, The one thing that Jason Tatum had over Jalen Brown was what? His ability to get to the basket. Now Jalen Brown has matched that, and look at who's the best overall player who brings it on both ends of the floor and is the engine to the car. That's Jalen Brown. And if anyone's arguing that, they're crazy, end quote. Regardless of who's better, both Brown and Tatum have been great voices off the court, but Jalen's averaging career highs across the board, and his superstar development makes the Celtics legit contenders. Number two, CJ McCollum. He just went down with a foot fracture and will be out for at least four weeks, and what's most tragic about that for CJ is that he was taking more threes to avoid this type of injury. In 2021, McCollum was taking 11 threes per game and making an efficient 44% of them. He recently talked with Michael Pina of Sports Illustrated about the decision he made this offseason to change the way he plays in hopes of extending his career, saying, quote, I think for the rest of my career, I'm going to shoot a lot of threes and I'm going to shoot them very accurately. I'm also going to shoot mid-range shots, but three-point shots are more than two, and if you can shoot them at 44%, which is where I'm at, I think you're in a great spot to get a lot of points per possession and really change how the defense has to guard you. Why go in there with a seven-footer when I can shoot over a six-foot-three or six-foot-four guy? They want you to play in those spaces. I've got to be very strategic about how I use my body. The ground is undefeated. Before number one, honorable mentions to Shea Gilgis Alexander, Nikola Vucevic, De'Aaron Fox, Colin Sexton, Chris Middleton, Joel Embiid, LeBron James, and Kevin Durant. Number one, Bradley Beal. The player that's undeniably been on fire more than anyone in the league is the 27 year old sharpshooter, the two time All Star, Bradley Beal. Like Levine, he's heard his name in trade rumors, but that hasn't stopped him from completely going off. Beal's averaging a ridiculous 35 points per game to lead the league in scoring by far, and he's putting that up on the highest field goal percentage of his career. Washington will likely trade him before the deadline, but even Wizards fans have to admit 
but their superstar in his prime, Bradley Beal, deserves to play for a contender. But I want to know your thoughts on this list. Let me know the player who I missed or the player who you've had the most fun watching so far in 2021 in the comments section down below, and I'll respond to your comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DFlowHoops to stay updated. Thanks for sticking around. This was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.